is going on, Fox and Tenacious Fox, your coach of the Indy Ivysaurs, bringing you week five of the TCL. This week, we are taking on uh, Sending Flygon, the only other undefeated team in the uh, league. And uh, Flygon has absolutely been torching teams. Um, he's 6 0 to everybody but uh, one team, actually. So um, he's been playing extremely, extremely well, and he's got some, an extremely good team. Um, he's got thick ass uh, Milotic, and he's got the I mean, Gengar is just broken as hell in this um, um, tier. And he's got some other stuff that he ended up not bringing. He's got like Scizor. Um, I don't remember what else. What else do you have? I'm not going to pull it up right now. But yeah, he, he does have a really, really threatening team. And he plays really, really well. Um, and uh, we're going to have to play our absolute best, uh, really, if we even want a chance to win this one. Um, so basically, my team, I brought the Leafeon to deal with the... Uh, um, Milotic. Um, I know he's not probably going to leave it in, but uh, if he does and goes for Ice Beam, I did bring the Yachi Berry for that. Uh, maybe not the uh, best option, but uh, that was what I had. Then we went with uh, Moltres. Um, this was really to check the um, Scizor. Uh, we made a really, really defensive um, Moltres, and I felt like if we could use this to check the Scizor, we could fire off a uh, flamethrower on anything that's coming in. Um, anything but like my my Lodic would have taken some damage, and we could have U turned out on this my Lodic, anyways. Um, and then we have Zoomroll, and this is the first week that I actually brought Belly Drum a um, Maybe should have gone with Choice Band to just give us uh, more offensive pressure instead of having to set up against this guy's team, because uh, he's not really. Uh, He's not really the type of guy to uh, let us set up. Um, but I did feel like, uh, with my team, I felt like our Azumarill and our Mew could set up on his Milotic and really, really wreak havoc uh, if he allowed us to. And in his previous weeks, um, he really did leave Milotic out on the field um, for a good amount of time. And I felt like if he did that again against us, uh, we could uh, set up with Azumarill, set up with... Um, Mew and really really do some damage to his team um, and then I, I forget what set I ran with Mamoswine it might have been a life orb set I basically didn't want to lock myself into something uh, with Mamoswine because he's got so many um, he's got so many threats that uh, um, just don't like they're they resist my ice stacks um, so I can't I, I can't like uh, leave this choice banded um, and that's kind of why I, I did that. Um, but anyways, we're going to get straight into this match. Um, he's going to lead with Rotom Heat. And we're going to lead with our big chicken. Um, I I can't remember what I thought he would lead with, to be honest with you. Because this has been... Um, uh, I don't remember when when we played this match. I think it was last week. Um, I didn't have a, I didn't have the greatest day uh, before we played this match as well. So that that <laughs> keep that in mind. Um, I had to uh, my car broke down that day, and I had to drive it all the way into uh, town to uh, take it somewhere. Um, and yeah, just a lot of stuff happened that day, and I had to play this match too. But I didn't have any other day, so that so it's not nothing against him. He would have played another day, but I really didn't have another day that I could play. Um, but yeah, this Rotom is going to be a problem for us because already our team does not deal, do, deal with electric types. Um, with exception of Mamoswine, we can come in on an electric type uh, with Mamoswine, but unfortunately, unfortunately Rotom, uh, Heat is also a fire type, which is <laughs> not what we want to bring our uh, Mamoswine Swine in on. Uh, so we're, first turn, I I want to just take a hit. Um, I, I feel pretty confident that I can take a hit with um, Moltres. Uh, so I'm going to let him Volt Switch on me. Um, and I'm going to, I believe, a, a U-turn here because I want to get momentum here. And we're going to go into Leafeon. Uh, we're going to find out that he's competitive. Uh, his competitive flame orb. So he hasn't run that um, at all this season as well. Um, which is just just goes to show how physically offensive our team is compared to, to his physical defense. Um, and that's why I felt like I had a good matchup here. Um, and I go for the Leaf Blade right away. We're going to switch back into Moltres because I, I, I'm seeing Moltres as a um, mod that I really don't need since I didn't see the uh, Scizor. Um, which is probably probably naive of me, but I didn't have anything else to switch in on this. Um, Rotom Heat was something that I kind of overlooked in, in prep, um, and it running Reflect here, definitely, I definitely overlooked this, because uh, while our team is very physically offensive, 
Reflect is actually really, really good against us. Really good. Um, as we're going to find out. Very, very good. Um, I'm going to let Involt switch out. I'm hoping that he gets a low roll. Unfortunately, he does not. Um, I can't remember what his set was. Uh, but we're going to go to Hitmonchan. Um, basically, I made my... I made my Hitmonchan uh, able to take a hit from this Gengar. Um, Hitmonchan made a maybe not would have maybe was not the best bring here. I think Drapion probably had a better um, matchup against Gengar, and we could have fired off knockoffs and got rid of items and whatnot. Um, so that might have been a miss miss bring for me. But I really uh, what I wanted, uh, and the reason I brought this, um, I wanted to keep keep hazards out on his side um and not worry about the hazards on uh or get rid of the hazards on my side and and uh take away the hazards on his side uh, but that that ends up being a mistake because if i brought something with defog we could have gotten rid of this reflect a lot easier and this reflect really really does cause problems for us we're gonna go for the thief um and the reason is if he had run um sub gengar with like nasty plot or something like that um there was nothing we could do like there was nothing on my roster could, that could uh stop that thing if it set up behind a uh sub so um that was kind of the point of the thief um i also did run this agua berry and i ran my azumarill agua berry too and i misread i thought they held at 50 percent <laughs> i really thought they healed at 50 percent uh, we're going to switch in Leafeon. Uh, already, I, I'm, I'm noticing that this Reflect is a big problem. I'm going through my calcs, and I'm like, oh, man, all these attacks that I knew were going to do about 60 or 70% are now doing about 35%, um, which really, really limits my offensive uh, threats. Because um, even Leafeon, even Leafeon in this game, other than um, Rotom Heat, Leafeon can actually hit really hard with this Leaf Blade. Uh, but she does switch in the Gengar, uh, which I go for the Yawn, actually. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I went for the Yawn. I thought he would bring in the Rotom Heat, to be honest with you. I did think the Rotom Heat was coming in, and I didn't want it to stay in. So I went for the Yawn. Uh, but he does bring in Gengar, un unfortunately. So he goes, he brings in Gengar, and then he brings in the Rotom Heat, which is really unfortunate. We're going to switch in Hitmonchan, and now we have a bad situation because we have this Rotom Heat against our Hitmonchan, and he's going to be able to set up another Reflect. Actually, he goes straight for the Will-O-Wisp, which is another problem for us because I didn't bring Heal Bell this week either, um, which is really, really unfortunate. We do go for the Drain Punch. We get a crit. It doesn't really matter. Um... I am bulk up, so I, I didn't really ma I didn't really care about the uh, um, the burn that much. And then he goes into Azelf, and honestly, Azelf was something that I didn't expect to see at all. Um, and here is where I find out that a Guavberry does not <laughs> does not uh, pop at 50% because I was expecting this Guavberry to pop off and then I was be able to go for a thief and take whatever item this had and make it a lot lot less dangerous. Uh, but unfortunately, the, the Guavberry does not pop. And uh, he goes for a psychic. And as Azelf, I didn't expect the Azelf, but it was a really good bring on his side. Um, and this is another reason Drapion would have been a great bring against him because Drapion would have checked this as well, even if he, even if he nasty plotted, um, it could have checked that as well. Uh, which is really a bad prep on my part. Really bad prep on my part. Um, I did think that that it was. Uh, um, 50% for the Agua Berry, so that, that really sucks. Um, we do go for the Protect to just burn a turn of this re Reflect. Uh, because here, here, uh, Azelf is very, very frail. And uh, had Reflect not been up, I believe, um, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong on this, but I believe either, uh, I believe I could have killed it with uh, Mammoth Swine. Um, maybe I wasn't, maybe I wasn't, maybe I was scarfed on Mammoth Swine. I might have been Scarfed, not Life Orb. I think I was Scarf on uh, Mammoth Swine, and uh, I believe if this Reflect was not up, I could have killed it with an Icicle Crash, but unfortunately, Reflect's up. Uh, we're going to just have to let Dende go down, because we can't switch in anything on A plus to <laughs> self, to be honest with you. Uh, we're going to go for the Icicle Crash. Now, he does have a little bit of... Uh, um... um investment on this he does have a little bit of uh um hp investment um and i thought this was a low roll or i, I wasn't sure if it was a low roll uh, based on based on like calcs and stuff um 
So I went for it again because I thought maybe it was a low roll. Unfortunately, we get the same exact roll and he brings in uh, Milotic. Two min rolls. Yeah, it wasn't min rolls. I think he said it was a mid roll uh, based on his set. Uh, Milotic is a huge problem. I don't think we can actually kill Milotic now. Um, he does a really, really good double here. That was a really good double, um, to be honest with you. Um, it made sense as to why he went for this double. Um, really, really made sense. Uh, because uh, Milotic, he does not want to keep that in on anything that we have. And he had to reflect up anyway, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna switch back into, uh, into Swiner again. I'm pretty sure I was Scarfed for this Gengar because I knew that Scarf could, uh, tank a hit, break this sub, and then, uh, or could break a sub, tank a hit, and then do massive damage back to this thing right after. Uh, we're gonna double into Azumarill because I'm pretty sure he's switching. I really thought that he would switch to my Lovic. I really thought we switched to Milotic. Um, so the Sneasel comes in, and I'm positive this thing has uh, Poison Jab. Absolutely positive. And right here, I, I'm, I'm going to get 6 0 just uh, just as a uh, spoiler. Right here, we could have prevented the 6 0 by going for... Um, we could have prevented the 6 0 by going for a Play Rough. But honestly, at this point in the game, my only chance... My only chance right here in the game is he he just absolutely F's up and switches out uh, and we go for the belly drum um, and that's my only chance is that he misplays here. Um, so we go for the belly drum, he goes for the poison jab, We get he gets the poison <laughs> of course. Um, he does get the poison, unfortunately we go for belly drum and uh, we're obviously not going to, uh, it's not going to pop because we're under half. Um, and yeah, that's that's going to be our only chance to uh, actually get a kill. Um, and yeah, literally, oops, literally the only chance that I had um, at this point was for him to misplay here and like switch out with a Sneasel or he just like literally did not bring Poison Jab. But I assume I assumed he did. Um, now here I could have again gone to Mew and prevented the 6-0. Uh, the, uh, um, but I went into Swiner instead because I wanted to try to get it. Well, I was hoping it would at least give me a kill, honestly. Um, 25 turns for a... Uh, a 25 turn 6-0 um, doesn't really happen. Usually 6-0s are like pretty quick. Um, but he is going to be uh, pretty uh, offensive with his Shadow Ball. And he's going to KO us. Um, maybe... So I brought the Mew and I put Colbert Berry on it. And I maybe should have put uh, the Shadow Berry for this Gengar instead. Um, but there's a couple other things that I should have done with my team that I just didn't. Um, GG, honestly, GG's to him. The Reflect was a really, really good bring, and it really put me out of my game plan because I wanted to just deal massive amounts of damage with um, with switch-ins on, on Leafeon and uh, Mamoswine. And I maybe should have brought the Azumarill as a Belly Drum set. You're not Belly Drum, as Choice Band set, and that might have done a little bit better against this team. Um... Yeah, I think it would have, because I think Play Rough, even like, I think Play Rough, uh, Banded Play Rough did a lot to this Milotic, even if it was uh, competitive. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that was that was the match. Unfortunately, we play, uh, definitely we played our worst game of the season. Um, not to take anything for, away from him. Obviously, he played well. He made a uh, pretty good double, and he made the right calls in, in most situations. The switch into Sneasel, I definitely did not expect. I really thought he was going to go to Milotic. Um, I thought he was going to give me a chance there. Um, but yeah, we definitely did not play well, and we definitely did not prep well uh, for this one anyways. But that's okay, because if we make it to the finals, we will see him again, and uh, we'll be able to uh, bring a lot better uh, matchup to him. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. As always, Fox out.